Imagine you're in the prime of life, healthy, active, embarking on a brilliant career, and then you get a headache. You feel weak. Your hands start to tremble. When it happened to musician Ron Price, he was devastated to learn that he had a Parkinson's-like disease. But finding out he had this degenerative disease has led Ron to discover a unique healing therapy that's helping a lot of people. One, two, ready, here we go. Everyone in this beginning music class is fighting a degenerative neurological disease, and their weapon is the harp. My signature is now legible, where six months ago it was not. You can actually read my name now. I have multiple sclerosis, so it leads me in a lot of different directions because there's not much the medical world does with multiple sclerosis. It is, it, it makes you feel good, but you know, it's not a miracle. The benefits these women are enjoying may not be a miracle, but it is a mystery. Why does this elegant instrument have the power to transform lives? How does this simple act of plucking a string create healing magic? Several of our students, interestingly, have broken through paralysis. They have been told they will never be able to use a part of their body, that it is uh, essentially dysfunctional. Don't think about it, just get on with your life. Dr. Ron Price is the first to point out that he is not a healer a miracle worker, or that he in fact has a cure for anything. He is a simple family man and music teacher from Southern Illinois, who has discovered a spiritual energy in music that he now shares with others. For Ron Price has suffered too. Started teaching in the public schools and did some professional playing and started having some mild problems in terms of tremors with my head. Apparently they had always been there as a child, but I had found some rather creative ways for people not to notice too much that my head was always in motion. Ron was diagnosed with a rare Parkinson's-like disorder and had to give up his dream of becoming a professional musician. So I just uh, felt that's what I was supposed to do in life and suddenly there was no place for me. I continued teaching and I enjoyed that, but it didn't give me a place for my own creativity, my own expression. So it was rather devastating for a very long period of time. Ron put his passion into special education and played the harp for his own pleasure. Slowly, he began to notice physical effects. The first thing I sense is resonance. The vibrations of the harp, much of the sound comes through the back. So you really do feel the vibrations, this incredible thing of sound being made on the strings vibrating through wood. Ron introduced the harp to some of his autistic and hyperactive students to calm and focus them. And the more he played, the more he felt changes within them and within his own body. If I played at least two hours a day, I felt better and the symptoms either were minimized or were just not evident to other people. Exploring the healing power of the harp, Ron, a PhD, has consulted with physician Dr. Amy Haynes. I'm interested in Dr. Price's Healing Harps program because it, it's so natural, it's so old, uh, it's so beneficial, and the, the, the benefits are so obvious. They're, they're immediate and they're obvious. Um, there's no side effects. There's no, uh, there's no harm done to the body, and it's available and accessible to everyone. Dr. Haynes believes that music affects us emotionally and physically, and she theorizes that the harp held close to the body may be transmitting powerful vibrational energy into the player. I don't think we do fully understand how it helps people. I know there's a psychological and a community benefit. I know that there's a neurological component. There's definitely a vibrational component, and there's also just a sensory component. We realize that our universe is a vibrating world that we either set things into vibration or we respond to vibrations. And it, it, it would appear that uh, the power of sound and vibration, selected vibrations on our being, may actually play some role 
in the healing process. We can only speculate about some of this, but when we observe it several hundred times, there must be something to it. Since 1983, Ron Price has brought his theories and his love for the harp to others through an organized program called Healing Harps. The benefits tend to be temporary. Uh, in other words, if you don't practice your harp for a few days, you will start to notice decline in function. Um, but we're temporary beings. It's like we have to breathe every day, we have to eat every day, we need to brush our teeth every day, so play the harp every day. Lisa Fisher is a mother of three who was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1994. Dissatisfied with traditional therapies, depressed and unhopeful, Lisa found the Healing Harps program and was transformed. When I play, I feel, I get real close to the harp so I can feel the vibrations go through me. And I will totally not feel my body at all. I won't feel the pain in my legs. I won't feel a headache. I won't feel tired. It's just me with the music. And I don't know, it's just a, I forget about everything. Lisa knows that performing the harp is not a cure for MS, but it's given her and her family relief and a positive force in their daily lives. Lisa is no longer just a woman with a degenerative disorder. She's a musician whose fingers play the music of angels. Playing the harp is probably one of the best things that MS has given to me. And I, and I do thank God for that, because there's a feeling in me that I never knew existed, that the harp has opened up. Some of our members battle very difficult medical and personal things. And we grieve when it is appropriate, we hurt when it is appropriate, but when we get together, it is never a pity party. That is just not allowed. Is there a vibrational energy to harp music that resonates within us in a healing way? Will medical science ever discover how to channel the benefits? Until it does, healing harps will continue to help those it can, making beautiful music along the way. Ron Price also has a PhD in special education and has used harps in his work with children with learning disabilities and behavioral disorders. In a study, Price found that many kids who were considered violent, unteachable, and antisocial became cooperative, outstanding students after learning and playing the harp.